Good luck. Thanks for uh, that warm welcome. So today we're going to talk about how to meet expectations. In essence, it's about performance. I think we all know the situation. We're at work, we're doing what we love, we code, and the wife calls us. Um, her family is coming over for dinner. Could you please bring some cake for the coffee on the way home? And you know, around 10 o'clock in the evening, we get up from the computer, we realize we're in deep trouble now, right? So uh, today, which is by the way, one of the best ways to learn, I think, we've all become smarter, but it doesn't help us much if we're not able to set the expectations toward management, business community, and what have you. So this is what we're gonna talk about today. There are a lot of words around these. We can talk about scope management, technically speaking. We can talk about function points, story points, uh, risk assessment, organizational performance. These things are all technical and we're quite mature at them, most of them. One thing we are not mature about is organizational performance. So when we estimate our projects, especially in big settings where we are depending on other people's architecture or also have to do some legacy development on the side. How, how big the engine is, is really important. And we know this when, remember Mr. Wolf from, uh, what was the film, the wonderful film, where he said, you know, uh, this is the wolf, I'm gonna be, the road is, uh, the trip is about 20 minutes, but it's, I'm, I'll be there in 10. Pulp Fiction, thank you, my old brains. So, a classic movie, legendary movie, and you know, to say stuff like that, you've got to know if you're driving a Ferrari or you're dr using some bicycle that you're stealing. So, um, this is what I'm going to present you today. Nucleon is a way to help you uh, in that assessment of your situation. It'll help you also get some advice on how to tune your situation. Um, she's a very smart cookie, not the kind of cookie that tracks behavior on the internet, but she's in American speaking, she's a very smart cookie. <laughs> there she is. So that's Nucleon. Nucleon is, uh, there's nothing new under the sun. That's not where she's smart. She's smart because we spent so many thousands of hours assessing hundreds of disciplines inside complex systems development. Then we found out which disciplines actually add to your team's performance and for how much. So by studying empirical studies, databases, projects, thousands and thousands and thousands of projects, finding out what is it that kicks ass when you guys perform. And these are the nine areas we came up with. These are the nine areas you should tune on. You don't have to do the hard work, we've done it for you. So there's nothing new under the sun. Find good people, organize them in small elite teams, don't screw up your enterprise architecture, don't spend all your time doing legacy maintenance, smart, work with other smart people so that you have this spillover effect that smart people make other people smart, have a great culture that gives you pleasure and you think your job is fun and working with it, have a modern methodology, but when that is said, you know, it's surprisingly difficult to have all these things in your mind. Uh, even though it's only nine components, it takes even the most experienced project managers I know have problems overviewing how much, how much horsepower do they have under the hood in their team. So they have this big insurance application they have to develop. When are we done? Ten months from now? Two years from now? We all know how often we get over time, right? So the reason why that is, is that to know all the practical implications of all these different areas, it's quite a lot. So that's why we made an assessment free on the internet. You can, you can see that, I'm gonna get back to that. Let me give you an example. Some of it, uh, so we've taken all these nine areas, we've translated into high school mathematics because we think mathematics or, you know, it's a universal language, we can easily speak across culture. But here's something, here's the, 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 the core of the engine room in Nucleon. And uh, that's where she looks at people. People is by far the most important factor. And 
performance with people, I think, is problematic because it's exponential. So the human mind is not good at thinking exponentially. Uh, but here you see performance for, for people you know who have found their shelf in life and their uh, raison d'être uh, over there and, and who are not. I mean, very skilled people have deep business understanding, who, whose personality is a perfect match to the job they're doing, who have a high level of cognitive ability, who are very professional in their behavior, and have a lot of years on their back, they kick ass. They actually produce 20 times better than the average Joe. 20 times better. I know I have some sharp cookies out here in the audience today, and you probably have problems negotiating your salary, but you shouldn't. If we look at this very expensive uh, uh, project manager from Denmark costing 1,300 Danish kroner per hour, what's that, around 600, 700 slotty? If you look at the, the guy, who, he delivers 100 raw nucleons at a price of 13 kroner per Nucleon per delivery unit. The mediocre guy costs 800 kroner per hour. He delivers at a price of 160 nucleons per hour. And the total mismatch, who should never have been in that department, he probably just helped his manager look after that job, but his personality doesn't fit it. He doesn't have the background for it. He was just in the company for many years and now he's doing this. He's not really happy about it, doesn't like what he's doing but he's cheap per hour. But if you look at the delivery units, he's 54 times more expensive than the ACE. This is something we all know intuitively, but we don't calculate it when we assess our team. So Nucleon does that for you. And it does it in all the areas, and it's quite difficult to have all these calculations in your mind. So we developed nucleonformula.com, where you in less than 20 minutes can assess all these things, and many of these areas would cost you literally a million to assess in a big company, uh, or two or three million to assess, but we just took our sharpest knives in the drawer and asked them what three questions would you ask to know what level of methodology maturity our customer is at. Give me two questions to address whether they have a good enterprise architecture or not. And we put that into a small questionnaire on the internet. And you can tap in your team. We will we'll keep the data, not the personal data, so we'll wash away the names, but we'll keep the data so that she gets more and more bright as time goes by, so that we can use her data. But uh, you'll get a very nice report with um, heat maps of what should you address first. How much would you free up of energy in your team if you didn't do legacy development, or if your enterprise architecture was, was better, etc. So that's Nucleon for you. I hope you will get inspired by her and that she will help you well in your work over the years to come. All right, have a good time on the internet and thank you for, the, uh, for speaking.